on my personality. Mm -hmm. In the past, I was very naive and I always um, angry with some small things. And now I become more tolerant. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, in the past, I even don't know how to make a PowerPoint or write an essay. Mm -hmm. But now these things is just like homework, and, and every week we will do these things. And there are also talent shows. I can, I can stand there and sing. That's uh, that's my dream in the past. Mm -hmm. In the past, I was very unconfident. Um, I'm confident and now I do a lot of presentation and read my articles in front of my classmates and then I became more confident than before. Mm. So, Three, two, one. Happy! Uh, in the past one year, we developed our ability to tackle so many problems and we coordinated with each other and we made a great effort. So, uh, if you want to catch up with uh, others, don't expect others to be lazy and be the stepping stone to your success. And we will remember our, re our original intentions and never give up. What you have achieved so far is a result of your past efforts. Today's efforts will determine your future brilliance. Please remember, only you can write your destiny. Last but not least, teamwork! Happy! Over the past academic year, I have become more confident in speaking, more interested in teamwork. Each of partner in our group tried their best to make our project more perfect. Looking forward to the future, we are constantly learning new knowledge every day. So we should continue to learn from each other and uh, uh, try your best at the same time. When I first came to this school last year, I have no idea about how to study and how to live. Through one academic year study, I have learned about how to become a mature person. If I want to get a high grade, I need to succeed step by step through continuous efforts and continuous tasks and exploration. Yeah, all okay. day! When I think of our current grade 10 class, one particular word comes to my mind, and that word is synergy. I think about how this class came to CYSS with a high level of energy and positive spirit that has somewhat created a new climate for the school. All day long, you see students working on projects collaboratively, sharing knowledge, interacting, asking questions, and doing so with a never-quit mentality. From an entrepreneurship class to English composition and creative writing, you have made your presence felt here at CYSS. From narrative, expository, and descriptive essays to short stories, poems, music, and movies, you have exceeded all expectations. There are no limits to what you can accomplish when you maintain this positive attitude and motivation. Stay focused going forward and continue to work together. And as I always say, teamwork. Hello everyone, happy Canada Day. I feel lucky to be here to say a few words for the first ever CYSS virtual yearbook. Since semester one, students and teachers alike have worked hard putting this version together, this version that includes moments, surprises, and discoveries. I want to thank you all for your focus and hard work. Now for one of my personal favorite discoveries made while reading the year-end grade 10 reflections. Here it is. We experience the highest personal and social sense of true teamwork when each of us contributes and shares the best of ourselves. Thank you all for making this happen this year. Hello everyone. I am Abdul Rashid and I'm teaching science and math courses at CYSS. So before I saw grade 10 students, there were discussions going on in teacher's office and uh, everyone was talking about grade 10 students, that grade 10 students are so adorable, smart, hardworking and talented. Everyone was highly speaking of these young kids. This made me excited to see them. Finally, the day arrived, and uh, I 
unfortunately, I had to wait all the day long to see great ten students. So in T Park, I met these wonderful kids. It was almost uh, 1:30 after lunch break. I stepped in my classroom and saw around 30 lovely, cute faces that were so innocent. After greetings, I found that some of them were a bit nervous, a bit scared, but all of them were looking excited, motivated, and big dreamers. As the time progressed, they developed into rising stars, taking a step forward to fulfill their dreams. Over the year, I have been able to see them, to see the amazing growth and development that occurred in each and every one of them. From being those young, innocent kids, grade 10 students wearing the school uniforms to the hard working students that they are today. So if I can share one thing with you all, I would encourage you to embarrass life. Don't be afraid to be your best self. Discover your talents, develop them and share them with the world. Firmly believe that being a good student means that you are not afraid to try new things and challenge yourself. If you don't try, how do you know if you can succeed? Always challenge yourself to reach beyond your comfort zone. It's a big world that can be made smaller by learning about it and experiencing it. So now I will close my, uh, my, my words with some nice thought. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. Within you, all you need. So I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Well, who would have thought that day back in the summer when I first saw you guys come in, back in early August, that uh, you'd be wearing masks through part of the year. So many things can happen here, and so many things did this year. We had the great tens, I saw you come in, and uh, it was my absolute joy to see how you have developed and grown over this time into the very impressive young men and women who have so much potential to change the world in the future. And it's my honor to be a part of it. It's my honor that you have asked me to do a small little video and be part of this yearbook. So, uh, thank you, Grant. Thank you for a fantastic year in every way. Regardless of any adversities that we went through, this virus, regardless of anything, it's been a wonderful year. And I gave a chance to see you grow, any chance to know. So, that being said, that's the end of my part of your year. What are you guys waiting for? Oh!